so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create that kind of shape transform animation in the blender with the help of the shape key so without any further delay now let's get started the tutorial and before starting the tutorial guys i just want to tell you if you guys wanted to practice on this project file so you can download this project file from the description that will be free for my all subscriber so now let's start the tutorial so first of all i will just open my blender and here you can see this is the same project file which is i shown you before so here you can see if i play the animation so it will look like this and that is very easy and cool trick basically okay so now i'm just going to open a new fresh file okay guys so we have a new project file here and we have also one a uh, vast model here so don't worry about this vast model you will get this uh, vast model along with this project file so don't forget to download this project file and uh, now let's start the tutorial so first of all we'll model this bottom part basically here you can see we'll model this part okay so for model this part i'm just going to add one circle here pressing the shift a and i'm just going to scale it little bit something like that and that much scale is fine to me then i'm just going to apply the scale yeah that's so great after that i will just go to edit mode of this uh, circle and you're going to select all the edges pressing the 2 then i'm just going to extrude it pressing the e and then i'm just going to set the axis as a z axis something like that then i'm just going to select the uh little bit upside i think yeah that's look great then i'm just going to select all bottom and the top edges and then i'm just going to extrude it once pressing the e and then i'm just going to scale it and then i'm just going to extrude it and scale it then i will just repeat this command for repeating this command i will just press the shift r yeah something like that okay and we'll just extrude once more time yeah that's look great and then we'll just press the f for the fill the faces so then i'm just going to select this circle basically pressing the ctrl and alt and then i'm just going to extrude it once pressing the e then i'm just going to extrude once something like that and then i'm just going to extrude one more time so it will create a supporting edge here and when i will add the subdivision surface modifier so it's not gonna melt it basically okay so here you can see what i'm telling exactly if i will just add the subdivision surface modifier here so here you can see we have a perfect sharp edge here we have to just increase the viewport level here from and then we have to just add the shade smooth so that will look like this and that's so great by the way okay so first of all i'm just going to center this part basically yeah something like that okay and we'll add this scale as well so that's look great and i'm just going to move it little bit upside yeah now it's look fine to me so after that i'm just going to add the shape key into our vast model so for that i will just go to my front view then i'm just going to uh, go my object data property from here basically okay and from here i will just add a new shape key so first we'll get the uh, basis shape key then i'm just going to hit the again shape key so we'll get this key one so basic basically hold a initial shape of this model so that's why we don't have any option here but when we'll add the another one so we'll get this name as a key one and we have a lots of option here so so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to my edit mode of this was okay then i'm just going to enable my x-ray view then i'm just going to scale it something like that and going to keep it downside something like that then i'm just going to select it scale it and move it downside something like that and we'll just repeat this process again and again yeah something like that okay we can see here and after that we can just select the whole shape here and then i'm just going to store it something like that okay and then i'm just going to select these edges basically and these edges as well and then i'm just going to move it a little bit downside and same thing we'll do with these edges going to move it downside and then we'll select these vertices and going to move it inside something like that here you can see and when i hit the tab so we'll get the whole shape here but when i just move this value slider so here you can see we have uh, that particular shape here and that's work great basically okay so after that what i'm going to do i'm just going to add the animation on this uh, part basically so i'm just going to increase the value slider to one then i'm just going to hit the this keyframe button basically here and then i'm just going to my 40th frame and from here i'm just going to decrease this value slider 
and then I'm just going to hit again this frame okay and from here I'm just going to press the T into our timeline and uh, make sure it's on a bezier so you can see when I just play the animations it will look like this and that's look great basically so for adding the rotation animation I will hit the I then I will just hit the rotation and I'm just going to my 50th frame and here I will just press the N on my keyboard then I will just go to my rotation section and here I'm just going to press the 360 degree and then I'm just going to hit the I here so here we have another keyframe so you can see now it will also rotate it as well okay so right now you can't see the rotation basically so we have to just see the material preview so here you can see now we have our rotation as well and that's look great okay so we'll add the same rotation into our bottom part as well so for that i'm just going to hit the i rotation then i will just go to my 50th frame and again i will set this as a 360 degree and then i'm just going to hover my mouse on this z axis and then i will just press the i so here you can see we have a that rotation animation as well but still we can't see because we don't have any material that's why we can't see so we what we will do for that okay so what we will do for that i'm just going to select this bottom part first of all then i'm just going to select my vase then i will just press the ctrl l and here we will see the another dialog box so i will just make link as a material so we'll get the same material into this bottom part as well and now if i'll just play the animation so you can see we can see the both object is rotating very nicely and that's look great by the way yeah okay so after that i'm just going to add one plane here pressing the shift a and i'm just going to scale it a little bit and i'm just going to keep it little downside yeah something like that okay and from here i'm just going to i'll go to the edit mode of this plane then i'm just going to select it and going to extrude it keep it here and now i'm just going to make a kind of ram yeah something like that then i'm just going to add the camera angle so for adding the camera angle i will just press the control alt zero so whatever angle you are right now so that will become a default camera view then i'm just going to unlock my camera view and from here i'm just going to change the resolution also i'm just going to 1080 and then i'm just going to keep it here something like that okay so you can see when i play the animation it will look like this and that's look great by the way so i'm just going to little bit here yeah and we'll add the another color into our bottom part as well yeah so that's look great for a while yeah okay so after that what i'm going to do exactly i'm just going to link this part with this vase so when i move this bottom part so that vase will be also uh, going along with this bottom part so for that i'm just going to select my vase first of all then i'm just going to select my bottom part then i will just press the ctrl p and here you will see the another dialog box set parent as object so when i just move this vase sorry so when i just move this bottom part so that vase will be also move along with them okay so first of all i'm just going to duplicate this thing pressing the shift d and going to keep it uh, here okay and uh, so make sure you delete these keyframe from here yeah something like that so now we have our default shape here and that's look great by the way and we don't need to change anything apart from that we have to just delete the only shape key keyframe because uh, when uh, we'll create the loop so what happened exactly so i'm just going to move this from the my 70th frame or 60th frame something like that i'm just going to press the i then i will just hit the location keyframe and go to my 90th frame and going to move it from here to here okay then i will just press the i again so what happened exactly when i it's going to make complete so it's gonna out from this frame so this thing will become into this frame so for that exactly what do you have to do you have to just again go to our 60th frame then you have to just select like this part basically this another part and hit the i for the location keyframe and then you have to just go to a 90th frame again and again you have to just go to a camera angle and then move this as a x axis okay and go to your item section here you have to just make sure it should be a zero and then you have to just press the i so what happened exactly here you can see when i'm just going to play the animation so it's going to complete it move it 
so you have to just set this last frame as a 80th frame okay and uh, make sure you just select your camera then you have to just go to your viewport display and here you have to just increase this pass out okay and now here you can see so when i play the animation so here you can see it will play in a loop here you can see it's completed then it's gone and it start again yeah and that's look great by the way and after that you have to just add the lighting in your scene and so that's how you can create any kind of looping animation okay and uh, i hope you enjoy this video so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button and the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys